Hey folks, this is Justin from the Leonidas Knives and Gear Channel. I hope this video finds you well. Unfortunately, I'm not bringing the uh, best of news to you all out there. Uh, I recently learned that Mike Fuller, the founder of Topps Knives USA, he has uh, passed away. Uh, I don't know the details of that, but I do know, you know, that is very uh, sad news, especially uh, to the folks who are I would say deep in the knife community and are very familiar with Topps Knives and the company. Um, this just, you know, it, it's been a rough year and it just seems like <laughs> uh, we just keep getting bad news. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to stay positive throughout the rest of the, the year, um, look to the future and, you know, just kind of take each day um, at a time. So my condolences go to um, Mike Fuller's family, uh, the crew over at Topps Knives. Uh, Y'all are some great folks. I know this is a difficult time. To be honest, I think it's a difficult time for everyone in the knife community because uh, Topps Knives are one of the major players uh, for USA-made knives uh, out there, and they've uh, heavily impacted my life. Uh, Mike Fuller himself has uh, impacted my life. In fact, it goes all the way back to almost 10 years ago, back in 2011. I received the Topps Knives uh, Armageddon I've got right here. It's a Trace Rinaldi design. I'm sure he's another great guy. I'd love to meet him one day, but I got this as a gift. And to be honest, I was kind of struggling with life getting out of college. I was having a really hard time finding a career uh, at all. And I ended up sending uh, the folks over at Topps an email. Uh, Mike Fuller actually got back with me, gave me a phone number and uh, told me uh, to call him, which I did. And he answered and we spoke on the phone for a little while and talked about careers and everything. But um, to be honest, I was kind of naive and maybe a little bit ignorant about, you know, things just in the knife world and high-end premium knives. I was super excited at the time. I had been doing a lot of work with the Armageddon, uh, uh, field usage, testing, uh, reviews and things like that. But I, I just, I, I don't feel like I knew enough at the time. And also we were separated by a very... Uh, a large distance. I was down in Alabama at the time and they were way up in Idaho, but I, um, you know, just, it didn't work out, but I appreciate him, uh, you know, willing uh, to talk to me. And that impacted me very heavily in a positive manner. And just, you know, I had a deep respect uh, for Mike uh, for for many years. I think he's a great guy. Uh, Tops is a fantastic knife company. Uh, to me, they're one of, uh, you know, the pillars of the knife community. Uh, Mike Fuller is also uh, a pillar of the knife community and, and he will definitely uh, be missed. And uh, like I said, this is a sad news, but I just, I wanted to give a tribute and um, remember him. So I was able to speak with him on the phone uh, almost 10 years ago and fast forward till about 2015. And I was able to meet him at a SHOT Show in Las Vegas. And he, and he actually gave me some background information about the company that he started. And he basically told me that he, didn't hardly have any money in the bank account and he was able to uh you know get tops knives going and to this day i feel like it's it's one of the most successful knife companies out there they're a great uh group of folks uh, i've worked with other uh, people in the tops knives community the folks over at sly steel knives uh they're um some great people they've actually um i think they were one of the first folks to actually uh give me a knife so i could review it on my youtube channel and that is heavily uh, impacted me as well and the slice steel folks they um, get their knives made through tops so once again um, tops has kind of got a special place in my heart and um, once again the armageddon it, to me is one of the most iconic tops knives out there um, most folks are probably uh, familiar with i've got here a mini tom brown tracker uh, most folks are probably familiar with the tracker series awesome awesome iconic knife uh famous for the movie uh the hunted tommy lee jones um pretty cool movie and um that kind of you know helped boost tops but for me it was this armageddon getting this as a gift and i use it so heavily and so hard that uh, a couple folks got to uh, get their hands on this knife and do some work on it uh, my friend uh, james over at montactical i think he's going by james unlimited he put this awesome uh cryptic duracoat on my Armageddon here, and you can already tell that uh, the Duracoat's been starting to wear down. So not only did I pretty much uh, take away the original finish, uh, I have beaten through this Duracoat. So yeah, this is definitely one of my tried and true knives. Uh, also my friend Brendan over at uh, the Survival Craft channel, he noticed that this Armageddon uh, was getting kind of warped from my just absolute heavy, heavy use of this knife, just a beast of a chopper. He took some hammers, he straightened this bad boy out and it has been uh, just straight and narrow ever since. Just a fantastic 
you know, knife to this day. So some really great folks have got their hands on this knife, have done some work on it, and it is still going strong uh, to this day. And I love this knife. It's going to go with me to the end and uh, be passed down to my children. So it just obviously means a lot to me. And, um, you know, the company tops, like I said, uh, you know, they've impacted my life. Uh, Mike Fuller has in such uh, positive manners. Uh, Mike had pretty much signed all of the, um, the cer uh, certificates of authenticity cards for all the tops knives. So a lot of folks out there, you know, have been impacted by him. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's more bad news for, for a rough year, but, um, you know, we're all just going to keep, uh, trucking on and I'm just going to obviously continue my love of knives. Uh, if you were to look at my knife collection right now today, um, one of the most prevalent knives you will find in my drawers, uh, on my gear is a Topps knife, uh, probably runner up is Essie. And then uh, the folks over at Halfbreed uh, Blades, they've been really good to me this year and had uh, you know, fantastic experience with them. Uh, also hardcore hardware of Australia. So I got friends, got friends all over the world, um, you know, in the knife community, I really appreciate them. And um, like I said, just kind of want to cover this and kind of give my background information of of how far I go and where I started. You know, I just wanted to remember that. And, you know, with Mike's passing, it kind of just, it brought back a lot of memories, uh, honestly. So, well, folks, I know the message wasn't the happiest, but if you enjoyed uh, the presentation, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, also, uh, drop me a comment if you could. I'd love to hear about, you know, your thoughts about the knife community, maybe how you got into it, where you got started, how, you know, maybe some information about if you own any Topps knives, what do you like? And also, if you're not a subscriber, um, Hey, I recommend if you do, because I'm, I'm trying to keep this channel uh, going and trucking through the new year into 2021, and we'll, uh, we'll see where it takes us. So anyway, I hope you all have a good one. Thanks again.